Welcome back to Benjamin Abdeck's Test House, where we combine best practice in building science to develop solutions that help you build better. Today, we're going to show you how easy it is to build a rain screen wall. We're going to install Home Slicker, this is a cut sample of the product. It also comes in two other versions, one pre-attached with a house wrap, another pre-attached with a filter fabric, which acts as a bond break as well as enhanced compression resistance. And finally, the only other product you're going to need is Slicker Screen. So as you can see, we've got a partially finished rain screen wall here. Let's focus on the bottom detail. It's really important when you build with rain screen to keep an opening at the bottom for drainage and ventilation. In this case, if you're also concerned about insects crawling up into this airspace, make sure you use a window screening material. We, we offer a product called Slicker Screen, six inches wide. You wrap three inches around the home slicker on either side, and you've got a good barrier for bugs, as well as an opening for ventilation and drainage. Now let's focus on the top detail. As you can see, there's a ventilated rain screen. So we've left the, the opening at the top. The top course of siding is separated from this trim board here to allow for airflow. And finally, you want to finish off with a board that protects that gap from wind-driven rain, yet still allows for airflow. When you're building with rain screen, you also want to consider how you're going to detail the trim. In this case, Homesticker is creating a quarter inch space. It's bumping out your siding by a quarter inch, so you want to make sure the reveal from the edge of the siding to the trim is still proper. To do that, you can either pack out the trim or plan for thicker trim. If you're going to pack out your trim, you just need to plan for material that's a quarter inch thick. Here's three options for you. Here's a ripped down piece of fiber cement siding, which I will install. You can also use something like a fan fold insulation that comes in quarter inch thickness, as well as strips of cedar. All right, before we install Home Slicker, we're gonna finish off the top detail. <clears throat> As you can see, we already have a drip cap directly over top of the window, but if you're gonna be putting head trim on, we recommend installing a second drip cap for extra protection. All right, once you install the drip cap, you're gonna to wanna to seal the top edge of it. Easiest way to do that is to rip down a piece of self-adhered flashing. In this case, I can fold the flap down, cut the excess house wrap, make sure you don't cut through the flashing at that location, and finally any rip or tear, in this case a cut that you introduce into the house wrap, you want to tape. Let's take a look at this wall. We've got our home slicker product that has been pre-attached with a filter fabric for stone and stucco applications. This part of the wall, stone veneer. You got your building paper, home slicker with filter fabric, black, scratch coat, and stone veneer. This wall, same application, different cladding materials. You got your building paper, home slicker with filter fabric pre-attached, your lath, scratch coat, and stucco. Both these walls are considered grain screen construction. It's gonna allow the porous materials of the stone veneer and the stucco to ventilate and dry out over time. All right, that's a great overview for our home slicker product and a stone veneer and stucco application. Let's get back to the installation of home slicker. Home slicker comes in a lightweight roll, easy to install. You can use roofing nails, siding nails, but we recommend just use a hammer tacker and staples. Our home slicker is not a water resistant barrier so you do not need to overlap the product, you just butt it up to the second course. So as you can see, since we packed the trim out, you do not need to run home slicker underneath the trim, you just butt the, the home slicker right up to the edge of the trim. That's it, that's how easy it is to install home slicker. A couple things to point out, we've got an opening at the bottom of the wall, an opening at the top of the wall, we've packed out the trim, and finally, you've got these vertical channels, make sure they're running in the vertical direction, it enhances the drainage and ventilation in that direction. Now you've got a rain screen wall that's gonna ventilate, it's gonna dry, and it's gonna last a long time. Thanks for joining us. For more information, please visit our website at benjaminobject.com. We'll see you next time as we strive to help you build better.